Hello everyone. For the 50 people who end up watching this video, I welcome you. This is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast. Well, since Valentine's Day is right around the corner, I wanted to post reviews of romantic films from South Korea, Japan, and China. We already covered The Beauty Inside from South Korea, and we now travel to Japan with Vital, a 2004 film by Shinya Tsukamoto, who is probably my favorite director of all time. I'm going to review a good chunk of his films on this YouTube channel, so you better get used to him. Now, Vital is arguably his best film, and one of the most resoundingly beautiful films that I've ever seen. So this is a big all-time favorite we're covering tonight. Now, this film follows a young man whose girlfriend was killed in the same car accident that caused his loss of memory. He soon enrolls in medical school and signs up for a dissection class to study the human body. Now, outside of class, he begins to see his dead girlfriend in his dreams, but he's confused as to whether they are dreams, memories that are returning to him, or supernatural visitations. So there's lots of interesting things uh, themes at work here, and Tsukamoto plays with all of them, while at the same time mirroring the beauty of biology. And how many romance films can you think of that emphasize the beauty of biology? There are not many films like this in existence. Now one major positive of this film is the direction, lighting, framing of shots, and cinematography, all of which are fantastic. I mean, every frame is practically mesmerizing in its color scheme and visuals. So for example, near the beginning of the film, there's a lot of orange that's used. And then that later shifts more towards a, a blue color scheme that supplements the rainy environments. This, the, the cinematography here kind of reminded me of Christopher Doyle, uh, which can be seen in films such as In the Mood for Love and Hero, two films that look outstanding. Uh, although Doyle did not do the cinematography for Vital, the visuals have the same craftsmanship and impact. You know, when you couple these types of visuals with a hypnotic score like this film does, they really enhance the feel of dreams and memories. You know, some of the prime, prime themes of the film. Now the main actor here is Tadanobu Asano, who is a mega popular superstar in Japan. And you've probably seen him in films such as Ichi the Killer and Survive Style 5. I think he was in a throwaway role in, in one or two of the Thor movies or something like that. But uh, his, his big time Japanese film is really Ichi the Killer. That's what that's, uh, most Westerners seem to know him from that movie. He's perfectly cast here in, in a rather gloomy role uh, of a fellow who's reserved but also suffering mentally and emotionally under the surface. Now, from what I've said thus far, given dissection in the main character's personality, you might think that this is a downbeat film, but it really isn't. It, it, it's definitely very melancholy, but it also has a very heavy romantic experience that it provides. And this is most strongly presented during the dream sequences. Because if you think about it, this couple's relationship was prematurely taken away from them. And those brief moments within the main character's dreams are the only times that they get to spend together. If they're actual supernatural visitations. Remember, these could simply be dreams or memories. But regardless, the dream sequences are very memorable. Uh, my favorite of which occurs on a beach and incorporates a rather passionate dance performance. It's really cool. Now, one, one fact that was brought to my attention while I was reading... Tom Mess's book titled Iron Man, the Cinema of, uh, of Shinya Tsukamoto, a book that's excellent and I highly recommend, by the way, was that Tsukamoto intentionally downplayed the grotesque aspects of dissection in favor of a focus on artistry and beauty. Now, this is obviously an excellent strategy when making a romance film. So, if you're a viewer who's squeamish about dissection scenes, you really have nothing to worry about in this movie. Uh, the majority of the dissections are shown via hand-drawn sketches, which are actually really cool. I mean, if you've seen diagrams within biology textbooks, you kind of have an idea of what you're in for, but the sketches they show in Vital are practically artworks. Uh, when you see them, you really think to yourself, you know, the inner workings of the human body 
are a very beautiful thing. So Tsukamoto was very successful in trying to do that here. I mean, it, it's no surprise that I've read that Tsukamoto was inspired by the works of Leonardo da Vinci uh, when making this film. It gives you an idea. So if you're scared of gore or violence, you can easily watch this film. I mean, yeah, there are a handful of scenes where they actually show the exposed body that they're dissecting, but it's portrayed like a body is typically prepared for dissection in real life. So the gore aspect is kind of neutered here. Uh, I just, I feel like I have to point that out, because sometimes when I tell people about the premise of this movie, they get scared off or something. There's no reason to be scared of this movie. It's not really a horror movie. It has, you know, some dark elements at play, but it's a very romantic, very beautiful, nice film to watch. Like many of Tsukamoto's films, though, I mean, Vital is, it's a bit on the weird side. And some scenes may be left to the viewer's interpretation. That's just the way this guy makes movies. <laughs> so, I mean, you can always tell when you're watching a Tsukamoto film, even though he's made wildly different films throughout his career. I mean, earlier in his career, in the late 80s and 90s, his films were actually very violent. And we will get to some of those in my Asian Horror Year in Review playlist. But that changed quite a bit during the late 90s going into the 2000s. Vital is certainly one of Tsukamoto's most mellow films, but it has just as much impact as anything he's done before. I mean, this is great stuff, and uh, a prime example of why I love this director so much. So those are my brief thoughts on Vital, uh, an exceptional and unique romance film that is a must-see. It's widely available on DVD, so check it out. And as always, we'll see you next time.